Hey guys, it's AJ. It's Red Flag Week here on the Beaver Bunch. So like Lori had a red shirt on, I'll wear my red hoodie and we'll call it Red T-shirt Hoodie Red Flag Week. I will never, ever though, hang a red flag out of my back pocket. All right, so I watched some of the other Beavers videos and so great whenever Mary B's on with Jess. I love it. And anyway, I love Lori's shirt too. If you didn't see what it said on the front, go back and watch her video and check it out. Um, red flags, and they covered a lot of them so far. So if this is repeating what they've said, it's not that I stole their lines. It's just that these things constantly happen over and over and over again. Either if in a straight or gay community, they just keep happening. I feel like I'm at this weird angle. I'm like, Hello, it's AJ. It's a Wednesday. Let me like re reposition myself. Okay. So anyway, a list of red flags that I made like from personal experiences are uh, you spend more time picking them up from the bar drunk than you actually spend with them. Um, they're texting their ex or their ex is texting them way too much. That, that makes you uncomfortable. It makes you think like you're not important enough. Um, lying, lying. I'm sure every beaver from here on out, and you guys will all agree that lying is a huge red flag. Um, if they're married, okay, if they're married and you're seeing them, that's going nowhere. You might as well walk into a wall because that's, that's just crazy. All right. Um, if they have more cats than days of the week because that's gross unless you live in a huge fucking house or your all your cats are outdoor cats okay i'll let it slide but if you have more than seven cats if you have more than four cats in your house explain to me how you are able to keep up with that because i have two cats and i swear i'm constantly cleaning the litter box I, that's a red flag for me because i don't want your house to smell like cat shit um let's see asking to borrow money when you first meet them i fucking hate that Unless you want to give it up freely, that's on you. But if you're with somebody who asks you to borrow money when you first meet them, I don't know. That's a huge red flag for me. A anyway, being gay or straight or whatever you are, like, we tend to ignore red flags. We tend to be colorblind to everything. Because like I have said, like a broken record, whenever we meet somebody that we really like, we act like they are the last person on planet Earth and we will accept them for all their flaws no matter what. And we can work on it and we can change them. But really, you guys, we can't. And, and we need to like weigh that out in our head and be and, and be more rational with our decisions because it would really make everybody's life a lot easier, especially especially during gay pride time and when we're at bars and you guys are all fighting and breaking up because you're drunk and crazy. Just like think about it. Think about all the breakups that you've been through and think about how you've met somebody else, even with the beavers. We have all been broken up, dumped, been the breaker up or whatever, and we found somebody else who closely meets what we want. Like, you meet someone, you find out about them, you learn from them, you break up with them, and then you don't look that for that quality in the next person. So I, I guess, like, when you meet someone with these red flags, it's also like a learning experience, I guess. I hope you're picking up what I'm throwing here, guys, but definitely realize if there are red flags, you can move on from it. You can go away. I was thinking red flags and I see red can hairspray. Whatever. See how easily I am distracted from making videos? That's probably why this one's late, but because I was tired. Um, anyway, so yeah, you definitely can find somebody else if they have red flags. If, and these red flags aren't going to go away because this is how this person is. This is how they are programmed to be. So you could either sit there and complain about them all the time or you could take the initiative to move on and find somebody else who has purple flags, rainbow flags, whatever color flag you're looking for, but maybe the red flag isn't the best one for us to be looking for. Um, I hope that made sense, but it's hard to like pick up after two beavers have like, well, two beavers and then an honorary beaver have sat there and like said all this rad stuff. And then you're kind of like Wednesday and you're in the middle and you're like, damn, what can I say that hasn't already been said? But it's true. Definitely don't be colorblind to the red flags and, and find somebody that fits you because there are so many people out there, so many people out there. And the red flags are definitely a sign of warning. I think that's why it's called red flags. I'm going to have to do research on what a red flag is exactly and get back to you on it. But just remember, guys, there's somebody else out there for you who will not have a red flag, who will be perfect for you. They could be in Antar Antarctica right now, but they'll come around. I promise. So... That's Wednesday. I just woke up. I need to, to get my day started. I know it's like 6 o'clock and midnight where some of you are, but red flag week. So I'll see you guys next Wednesday, and have a good rest of your week, and I'll see you, and watch out for the red flags. Bye.